Welcome back again to Joe Stunner Boxing. So, Kenshiro Taraji defends his WBA and WBC light flyweight titles against Anthony Olasquega. Um, knocks him out in nine rounds. Um, you could be forgiven for thinking he had it all his own way when you look at the respective records. But in fact, Olasquega gave a good, good account of himself. And you probably know about Taraji if you follow the little guys. Um, he, in his previous fight, he beat Hiroto uh, Kaiguchi, a uh, previous undefeated champ, and unified those two belts. Um, let me see now. I think it was WBA. He won the WBA title off Kaiguchi, and Taraji at the time was WBC champ, so he's got those two belts. And that was a, that was a terrific fight and a very good performance by um, Taraji against Kaiguchi, who's another very, very good uh, light fly fighter. Um, but Taraji has his vulnerabilities because if you go back to 2021 he fought Mashimichi Yakubi and he got knocked out in 10 rounds and then in the rematch he won it in 3 but nevertheless the point remains that he can be hurt and he can be stung and clearly he can be stopped um, and he also even against um, Koyaguchi when he was in that unification fight in, in his previous fight he was, for the most part, dominating, but he was still caught a couple of times and stung quite badly. So he does have vulnerabilities, even as good as he is. Um, Taraji is called, uh, in, translated into English, it's the amazing boy. That's, the, <laughs> that's the, the nickname. And he's 31 years old. You can see why he's called the amazing boy, because this is a Peter Pan. I mean, the guy looks like he's going on 15, but he's 31 years old. Uh, but he doesn't show in his fighting because he's he's still got every punch in the book the reason i love watching these a lot of these top top uh, japanese fighters is because they're so well schooled they, they're taught every punch in the book they're taught to be aggressive but they also seem to be taught never to go for a one punch knockout don't fall in love with your power the power comes from the technique i really love that and they're very they're in very entertaining fights as well of course that's the main thing um and anthony olaswega he coming in he was 24 years old uh, is 24 years old, and he, he only had five fights. Uh, they were against reasonable opposition, you know, guys with winning records, and some some guys who'd had a couple, three of them, I think, had had a lot of fights. One guy had, had about 40 fights. So he's learning against, you know, the right level of opposition, but to jump to a 12-rounder against a unified champ was probably a bit too much, a bit of a quantum leap, bridge too far, however you want to phrase it. But he gave a good account of himself, and certainly in the first round, um, Olas Grego is, is going forward and he, he it's almost like he, he could sense or he maybe was told by his corner, you can't outbox this guy. So you've got to go for it. You've got to put the heat on him early. Make him fight at a pace he don't like. Any problem is, Taraji likes the fast pace. Don't forget these are light flyweights, so they're going to be fast anyway. And even though Olas Grego had the right idea and was you know going after Taraji, putting pressure on him, Taraji, it was very noticeable, Taraji from virtually the, Second minute of the first round onwards was going to the body. Lovely right hand to the body, a couple of left hooks to the body. And of course, as you expect from Japanese fighters, a lot of very straight punches, jabs and the crosses. The old uppercut coming in. This was impressive stuff from the word go. Um, it continued with um, Oluskwego doing very well, you know, as far as putting the pressure on. But it was obviously he was going to have to try and erode Taraji. And Taraji was holding his shape. Boxing beautifully, using his feet very well, controlling the range very well, making Olaswega occasionally have to jump in or maybe even lean in uh, just to land a single punch. But Olaswega, fair play to him. He knew this was a 12 round, you know, 36 minutes of fighting for a guy who's only ever done, I think, it was, I think he'd done six rounds before, that was his lot. And he wasn't losing heart, he, was, he kept on going. And then in the third round, there was a knockdown. And that was a case of Taraji <clears throat> landing a right hand as Olaswega was moving in. And Oluswega hit the floor, not dramatically, kind of knocked him, knocked him down rather than knocked him flat. Um, Oluswega got up, was fine, and Taraji finished the round, obviously a 10-8 round. In the fourth round, Taraji came, came on strong early on in the fourth round to put Oluswega under pressure. But I've got to give the young American guy a lot of credit because he, he, was, he was not panicking. He, he was clearly in a situation he hadn't been in before. He, he's fighting in Japan, so he's had to travel a long way. I mean, this kid's got something about him. You know, goes abroad, in against the unified champ, 
this was only a six pro fight. There were lots of pluses to tick here. But nevertheless, in the fourth round, clearly another uh, another round for um, Taraji. Fifth round, I think I go to Taraji. But then in the sixth and the seventh, suddenly Oluswega tears after Taraji. And I think, did I give him those two rounds? I think I might. And I know it might be swing rounds. But, but I was just so impressed with the way Oluswega, with all his inexperience, was just... Desperately sticking to the game plan, not panicking, trying to beat Taraji, trying to grind him down, trying to keep the pressure on. And Taraji was was looked beginning to look a bit unsettled in the, the middle rounds. He was holding his shape well, he was still boxing, still using his feet well, controlling the range well. But it's as we've said so many times before, pressure, pressure, pressure is mental as well as physical. And I just got the impression that Taraji was thinking, this guy should be out of here by now. And I'm, you know, this might be a distance fight. And this was certainly true in the eighth round when for the first time, I mean, Oluswega, again, tearing off the Taraji, putting the pressure on. And Taraji at one point slipped to the floor by the ropes. It wasn't a knockdown. Um, the referee helped him up and he looked, his mouth was open. He looked a bit like he was running out of gas. Um, and you were thinking, I wonder what's going on here. I wonder if this is going to be a, I don't know, potentially an upset. Could can Oluswega keep up this pace? He set a hell, hellish pace against a guy who's already quick and crafty. God, Taraji's very, very crafty. Um, and now we're in, you know, round. this is two thirds of the fight have gone, eight rounds gone. Can he keep this up? Well, for him, unfortunately, in the ninth round, the answer was no, because Taraji came out perhaps with a renewed sense of urgency, thinking, I've got to get rid of this guy. We've got another four rounds potentially to go. I've got, I've got to really put it on this guy. And sure enough, he did. And within I think, a minute or just over a minute, the fight was over because Taraji went through his repertoire of punches really impressively. He looked a little bit vulnerable in that eighth round. And what's the perfect way to reply it? You remember Usa against AJ looked grim in the 10th round or should we say less, less brilliant than it usually does. And then in the 11th round, he beat the crap out of AJ. It's the same story. But the difference being Taraji stopped Oluswega. Got him in the corner. Was He actually battered him into the corner with a lot of beautiful straight punches. Body, head, there was an uppercut in there. And then when he was in the corner, he unloaded some... There was, de there was definitely a right hand to the body at some point that hurt Oluswega badly. Oluswega began to sag on the ropes. Taraji let his hands go and bundled Oluswega through the ropes. But the referee, I think, at the same time as Oluswega was falling through the ropes, stopped the fight. And it was recorded as a TKO in the ninth round for Taraji. Very well deserved. Oluswega, you've got to be philosophical about this type of defeat because you're jumping up levels, entire levels, from five fights to a unified champion, a 12-rounder. Be philosophical about it. Go away and learn from it. You're 24 years old. You can come back. But Taraji, he marches on. And this was this was an entertaining fight. Um, over, overall, a good performance, but you can still see little vulnerabilities in Taraji. That's, that's what makes him exciting to watch. And uh, yeah, good fight, very good fight. Let me know what you think of it. Did you watch it? Um, it wasn't. I think it was. It was on in the the UK. I watched it on a stream, but it was. It wasn't on any of the the platforms in the UK, as far as I know. But try and catch it. it might be on YouTube. Um, well worth a look. Taraji is clearly an entertaining, very skilled fighter. At 31, even though he looks like he's a kid. Um, there's another couple of belts for him to pick up. The IBF and the WBO, maybe he'll go for those. And what's going to happen with Oluswega? Is he going to come back? I think he should. I think he will. But let me know what you think. Thanks for your time, as always. Comments below. I'll read them. I'll answer, answer them. And uh, subscribe if you're new. Hit the like button. That always helps us. Let's build up the channel. And uh, we'll speak again soon. Bye for now.